Hi there and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we will do something crazy. Today is the intro for the most crazy project out there that I've ever seen. If you thought that Fifty Shades of whatever color, right now it's Fifty Shades of Green, but we've had Fifty Shades of Pink and Purple. If you thought that was crazy, well, hold on to your hat because this is even crazier. <laughs> this is the 100 Colorful Empties Project Pan. It's not 50 products, it's 100 products. And it's all about empties. You can't even have like uh, like goals on your product like you can in Fifty Shades of whatever color. Wow, this is crazy. The creator is Haley. She has an Instagram account. I haven't actually seen much of her. I'm not very much on Instagram, but you know, from what I know about her, she created this very crazy project. So she must be crazy in a very good way. <laughs> so I already like her. <laughs> okay, so this was created by Haley. I will have her link down below. So how it works is that you choose 10 colors and then you pick 10 products for each and every color. So today I will try to be pretty quick in showing you all of the hundred products that I'll be trying to use up this upcoming year. And I think this is a great time to start. I've been doing my Fifty Shades of Green for about a half year and I don't have that much left so I'm not overwhelmed by that and it's not too close to the next Fifty Shades of the next color. So I, I feel good about starting this now so that I can have some, uh, hopefully a lot of these things out uh, by the time I get new, like 50 new products <laughs> going on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the first color I chose was black. It's easy to find uh, black products or products with black caps or something. Let's start with these three sheet masks or no, not sheet masks. These are all peel off masks. We have two by Seventh Heaven that are like Disney villains. And then we have a black head peel off mask by Sense Beauty. We have a dry shampoo from Maria Nila. I have started this already. So maybe it's half left, maybe. But my experience is that they are actually uh, going rather quickly. So I actually have more dry shampoos in this project. Then we have this bath foam from Rituals. This is the Ritual of Samurai, the organic bamboo and sandalwood bath foam. I guess I can have about four baths out of that. Then we have the L'Oréal Paris Infallible uh, Mattifying Setting Spray. So this is pretty big, but I think I can have that done, no problem. Then we have from Allel, we have their G2 serum. This should match my DNA somehow. I have used up um, maybe half or even two thirds. I'm down to like here or something. Um, so that I will finish this year, I'm pretty sure. Then we have the Glow Minerals. This is a mini of their perfecting powder. I actually used up a big one um this year so i'm pretty sure i can use that one up then we have the dream cream the hand and body lotion from lush and uh this is how it looks i need to really get going on my lush products mm, nice nice um but yeah hand and body lotion and then for the last product in this category we have the Filorga time filler night so this is a multi-correction wrinkles night cream so that's it for my black category. Just nine colors to go. <laughs> then we come to the white category. And uh, I just wanna say that I am going to take photos of all of this so that I can just take them off and show you guys that way, um, like how, how far we are in the process and what is left, but I'm not going to talk about all of the products every time. Of course, that would be a very, very, very long video every month. I don't think you would stay for that, especially if I haven't used the products and I'm just showing you the same thing over and over again, you know? So first up, we have the Lush Snowball Bath Bomb. This is like blue inside. I've actually already tried one of these. Lovely, I think it's one of their cheaper bath bombs. It doesn't look like much. It looks like a snowball, which is very fun. Uh, but like I said, it's blue inside. It gives a very nice, uh, very nice light color to the water. 
Then we have this Style Dry dry shampoo compact i've actually i have tried this a few times it looks like this um and you have this kind of puffy uh, brush in here so you take that into your hair um very different from everything else i've tried <laughs> so i will try to use that up i don't know how how long that will take then we have this sensual bath salt from online hydrangea Hydrangea aloe vera. <laughs> oh, some of these names. Um, it's not the usual names and, and words you would uh, normally use, you know? So we have about half or a third left, maybe. I'm going to try to use that up. And you know, this is the perfect time for it, for all bath products. Then we have from Cetaphil, we have a moisturizing lotion for face and body. We have two of them, probably gonna use this for my body, just because it's uh, one simpler and two, I have so many face creams. I don't need another one, you know? <laughs> then we have from This Works, the Stress Check Mood Manager. So this is a mist, I will probably use this before I go to bed. I sleep twice, if I haven't mentioned that already <laughs> in the past couple of months. I work nights and I work days, so I sleep twice. So I do get a lot of use out of my like evening time uh, products. Then we have from Filorga again, the Oxygen Glow Mask. And I will have to look up if this is like a day mask that you have are leaving on or if you should uh, have it on and, and you know, rinse off and you know, have on for like five or ten minutes. I don't know. I don't know what kind of mask it is. It doesn't really say anything either of how to use it on the backside. That's the downside with these smaller samples from Filorga that you get everywhere. Then we have from the rituals again, the ritual of Sakura soap bar in the scent rice milk and cherry blossom. And of course I have to yeah, it was a good choice. Smells good, smells clean, that's good. <laughs> then we have the unique one from Revlon Professional. Um, this is a coconut hair treatment, never used, um, but I want to, so here's my chance. And then for the last product, we have the Percy and Reed London I Need a Hero Wonder Bomb Hair Primer. So this is a leave-in treatment, I like that. So that was it for my white. And now the more colorful colors will enter the scene. <laughs> Don't worry, I have a few colorful colors as well in here. Um, so let's go with purple, shall we? First of all, we have this Batiste shampoo, dry shampoo plus. I've used maybe half of it as well. Then we have from Sense, um, I think this is like a set. Sorry. So we have the Precious Night Softening Body Cream. We have the Precious Night Cleansing Face Scrub. Okay, this is not, uh, but it's from the same calendar. Uh, it's the Sugared Pink Rose Peeling Body Scrub. So I thought I would use that as a little set. Then we have Plum Duff from Lush. This is full, it's a hundred gram. I really like this one. I'm actually working on one already. You get all purpley <laughs> stuff. I like that a lot. So let's see what more we have. We have a AHA and BHA exfoliating cleanser. So another cleanser. Oh, here they are as well. Sugared pink rose. We also have the body butter and soap. So this is a bar soap, another one. Um, I am going to try to use up a lot of my smaller soaps this year or this upcoming year. So we had a lot of scents there. Then we go to Glam of Sweden. This is a night mask. I really like this packaging. You just take this one out. <laughs> if it was like stored like this, that would not be very easy to store. So I'm very happy I could just put it down here. The little things in life, you know. And then for the last product, we have Centered Sleep Well. This is like a therapy bomb. It's a very mini one. <laughs> so I should be able to finish this. Uh, and it's only down to, yeah. It's down to here and then the packaging starts so this is how that one looks mm. I really like these ones and like I said nighttime products I get a lot of use out of them so I should it shouldn't be a problem 
So let's move on to the red category. Another dry shampoo. This is the year of dry shampoo. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if I've used this maybe once. Uh, you know, it's not that much in here, but I think it's new. Then we have a strawberry lip butter from the body shop. This one I actually worked on in the beginning of the year. It looks like this, so I have a huge, a huge pan in this. Uh, but I have a lot left. These are holding on for a long time. Uh, so I'm actually a little bit worried about that one. <laughs> then we have the Body Shop Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. And I guess this could be in like the pink section, but I don't know. I just think about red when I see this. Uh, it kind of looks red, but when you look at it more, it's like a, a deep pink. Um, but roses are red, so... <laughs> I don't know. I have to see on my um, sheet here if I actually uh, uh, counted this one here in the red section. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'll put it back. That was for the pink. <laughs> I actually put it in the, the red first and then I saw that it was pink. <laughs> so let's continue with the red category. We have the lip butter and we have the dry shampoo. Then we have a leave-in conditioner. I may be about halfway on this one. I've had it for a pretty long time, so it, it's time for it to go. Then we have something that I've emptied, uh, because I have a really big bottle of this, and this is like a rinsing vinegar for your hair. This is from Yves Rocher, and I've used like smaller uh, sample sizes of this one. I really liked it, but I don't use it that often. So I was like, okay, if I empty it into this um, half big container, then I can use this up and that will be my goal. Then we have the cinnamon roll bubble bar from Lush. I love how this smells. I wonder what it smells like, if it's like, hmm, well, cinnamon, I guess. I, I love it. <laughs> I really do. Um, so that one will be a very nice treat to use. Then we have, from Lush as well, we have their shampoo bar. I don't think I've ever used a shampoo bar, or have I? Okay, maybe I have actually used one shampoo bar in my life. <laughs> but it's kind of a new experience, and it was a long time I finished that one, that other one. So uh, that would be nice. Then we have from Essence, we have their color changing lip balm. Looks like this. So it gives a little bit of tint and the packaging is adorable. It is so cute. <laughs> so I will try to use this up. Usually it takes about maybe four months to finish one if I use it consistently, which of course I will try to. And then I have one hair mask uh, from Head Shock. This is the conditioning hair mask. This will be pretty difficult for me to use up. Uh, not because I need to use it several times, but because um, it's something that, you know, takes a little bit of time and you have it in your hair and it was actually hard to get that cap on to your head. <laughs> At least I, I found that to be pretty difficult. I think I have three of them. I've used one. Maybe I have the other one in here as well. I don't know. And then I have two face masks. These are the Detox Your Skin Face Mask Self-Heating Volcanic Ash. That sounds dangerous. Um, so yeah, those are my red products. Okay, so then we have the orange category and we have from Dr. Dennis Gross, the Universal Daily Peel. Um, in here there are three treatments and I need to use it up by like January or something, so I should use it pretty soon. Then we have this Loveliness Sensuelle. This is a perfume, it smells really good, it's a roll-on. Mmm, nice, nice, nice. And it is kind of a, a sheer orange tone to it, so that's why it's in the orange category. We also have this Soap Sabonete Klaus Porto Tobacco Blossom. This is a hand soap. It's a pretty thick hand soap, but very small. <laughs> I wonder if it is like... Um, I almost need to check if the soap is orange if I will actually remember what this is. 
uh, kind of. It's more like a beige, a beige uh, color to the soap. Anyway, it's orange here. Clear as day. Then we have a Mitchell and Peach English Grow Growers English Leaf Shower Wash. So it's a shower gel, pretty small. I think it's yeah, 50 mils, not very much. We have a bath bomb from Lush, lovely. We have the Repairing Papaya Hair Food Shampoo from Garnier. We also have, and I have like a whole box here, with a shampoo bar, conditioner bar, and cold pressed soap. And this is in the scent Sweet Orange. So um, here you have the soap. Of course, it's orange. We also have the shampoo bar, also orange, but the conditioner is actually white. But it's in the scent Sweet Orange. So I thought it would fit perfectly here anyway. <laughs> so those are my 10 products for orange. Then we come to pink. So let's start off with this body spray. This is the Snow Fairy by Lush. There's actually nothing in here because I've emptied it. I really don't like the scent on me, but as a scent, I, I kind of like it. So I have it as a room diffuser. I just emptied it. So it's all of this. I don't know how long this will take before it's empty. <laughs> I have no idea. But um, yeah, I thought this was a cute container. I had another room mist or room diffuser, a perfume dif a room diffuser, I think that's the name. Uh, I thought this was really cute, so I wanted to reuse it. So that's for Snow Fairy. Then we have from We Are Paradox Repair 3-in-1 Conditioner Hair Mask Finishing Cream. We have a bubble bar from Lush, this candy cane. We have a Philip Kingsley Bond Builder Split and Remedy. So a few hair products. We have the Power Powder Rose Safe uh, Soap, a small bar soap. We now have the Rose Dewy Glow <laughs> by The Body Shop, this face mist. And then we have four masks. So we have a self-heating mask in pink. We have a nourishing hair mask. We have a hand mask and a face mask. So that went pretty quickly. That's good. Let's move on to green. Something totally different, you know? We have a deodorant. It's pretty big. Um, it's like... <laughs> it's all the way down here. So this is huge. This is down to here. So this is a huge, well, deodorant um, that I kind of recently got. I have started using it and I like it. So I will be using this this year. I will probably not uh, have the time to use anything else because this is, uh, yeah, this is humongous. <laughs> so that is for green. We have a peel off mask. This is Jasmine. We have a tea tree care solution sheet mask. And we have a Grace and Stella foot peeling mask. We also have a huge bath bomb from Lush again. This is called Hey Hollywood. I really like this. I, I think this actually got to be like a, a very dark purple look in the water, you know, when it had dissolved. Uh, that was really nice. Then I have five products from the Body Shop Drops of Youth series that I wanted to try together. And I have been going this year trying to finish off some smaller products. And uh, these are big products. <laughs> these will take quite some time to, um, to finish. So we have the Drops of Youth Youth Cream. This is so big. Uh, it's so big. Then we have the Essence Lotion. We have the Serum, which looks like this. This is also pretty big, but I go through serums pretty quickly. So I think I can have that done pretty quickly within a few months, at least. Then we have the Bouncy Jelly Mist. I have no idea how this will work. Like, it's actually a jelly. How can you spray a jelly? I don't know what magic is going on here. <laughs> and then we have the Youth Liquid Peel. 
I guess this is like a face peel. I don't know. I haven't tried it. So those are my 10 green products. Let's move on to the brown category. Not as colorful, I guess, but it is a color. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you have to find products for everything as well. So first of all, we have a Body Shop Almond Hand and Nail Manicure Cream. So this is a huge day cream. It's been open for a little bit too long, so I really need to get going on this. But this is huge. I've never, I've never finished something as big as this. I mean, their hand creams that I've actually been using up are this size. This is a huge difference. This is like, what, 100 mils? 100 mils instead of 30. So yeah, it's big. I have had it open for quite some time and tried to use it, but yeah, I'm a little bit worried about that one. <laughs> then we have the Pays Rice um, Rice Powder, High Rice Colored Rice Powder. <laughs> uh, I've used a bit of it and it actually came down pretty quickly. So I don't think I will have too much of a problem with that one. Then we have the Coconut Rescue Mask. This is a hair mask, also by 7th Heaven. Oh, I love the packaging of these. These are so beautiful. It's such beautiful artwork on them. Then we have the Body Shop. This is the Shea Nourishing Body Butter. I have been using it quite a bit, but this too is huge. I'm, I'm used to their smaller containers. <laughs> But these bigger have to go at some point, so let's get going on them. Then we have the Yves Rocher Hammam Bath and Shower Gel. I will probably use this in a bath because I have so many shower gels to go through. Then we have Molten Brown. This is the Recharge Black Pepper Bath and Shower Gel, also for the bath. Um, so it has this brown um, as well. But we also have a purple one, but because it's called Molten Brown, we have brown in the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is another bath and shower gel, Relaxing Ylang Ylang, Ylang from Molten Brown. So that one is a bit bigger. I don't know if I like the sense of this. This one is pretty okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm, I don't love the black pepper and this hammam hammam that was really nice <laughs> okay let's continue i have the i love stage by essence this is an eyeshadow base i finished one off last year so i think i can do it then we have the hey honey take away the drama youth boosting honey and copper peel off mask this is pretty little so i guess i can get one or maybe two uses out of it and we have from Diego de la Palma an eyeshadow or a, <laughs> an eyebrow pencil. It's very little. It was actually very little when I got it. Uh, I think I, I might have sharpened it like once. Very small. So let's move on. So there are only two categories left. It's blue and it's silver. So let's start off with the blue ones. So we have a hand wash that I have started. We have another therapy bomb called Focus, also by Centered. It's this small, very cute container. Um, of course, I have to smell everything. I don't think this smells as good, but it's okay. Then we have the Professional Super Setter. This I'm very excited about. I've heard good things. Then we have the Ritual of Hammam from Rituals. This is the nourishing shampoo. And we also have the sh another shampoo and we have the conditioner. Then we have the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, small one. Guys, I have to have small containers as well because I have to finish like eight products every single month to get through a hundred products, <laughs> you know? Um, so I have to have a few easy ones. Then we have from Boulevard the Butte, 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 uh, a face mask, an under eye patches. And then we have from Dr. Shirakul, Hyal Youth Lifting Mask. So that is the blue category. And then we have the last category, which is silver. I'm just trying to get all of the products in here. <laughs> okay, so first off, we have the Verso Nourishing Cream. So I guess this is a face cream. 
And then we have Peter Thomas Roth, the Water Drench Hyaluronic Glow Serum. This is also very tiny. We have from the Body Shop, the Hemp Hand Cream that I'm like halfway or not really halfway, but maybe one third down. We have the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. And we have the silver in the cap. Uh, we have the Body Shop, the Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. <laughs> so it's a small one, but I actually have another one, another cleansing butter that I want to go through, or a cleansing balm. Actually, it's from Elemis. We have a foundation. We have the Soft Dewy Hydrating Foundation from Makeup Mecca. It's light coverage. And then we have from Catrice, we have the HD Active Performance Primer, SPF 30. We have two more products. We have the Sense Sparkling Ginger Exfoliating Body Scrub. And we have a nail polish from Maybelline, New York. Express Finish 40. Uh, I'm about halfway. This is one of my oldest nail polishes and I just feel like this is a great topper. I can use this by itself or I can use it over something. So yeah, I, I think I can have this like for an everyday look. It doesn't have to be like too out there. I really want to get into nail polishes again because my nails are pretty weak and I like having something to strengthen them a bit so they don't crack and stuff. Um, so yeah, trying to get something out of my collection uh, in a nail polish way, that will be an achievement. So my goal, of course, I want to finish everything, but if I can get 90% out of here, 90 products in a year in this project, <laughs> If I can do that, I am totally fine with that. Even if I only finish like 80 products, I'm fine with that. Um, but I aim for more than 90. That would be good. So, wow, <laughs> we're finished. I've shown you a hundred products. What do you think? Are you excited? Have you done this project? Let me know, because I would like to watch that series if you have in the past or if you're doing it now. Um, yeah, this is a crazy product. I love it so, so much. Let's go use some, some things. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video and then I'll see you next time. Bye.